at the end of this video we'll have this foundation plan from our distribution plan key things we will do are place columns aims footings axis line denotation and finally dimensioning let's get to work in the last tutorial we did the distribution plan in this tutorial we're going to make a copy of the distribution plan and come out with the foundation plan so copy the distribution plan we have to get rid of all the furniture the dimensions to be able to do that we click on the furniture move to select similar and it's going to highlight with that of the previous drawing navigate to the previous drawing click on shift and um, right click over it it's going to unselect what is on the distribution plan that we had and um, click on delete so as you can see the dimensions are deleted we do the same for all the other furniture and dimension stars so now you should have something like this um click inside the walls and um, select similar equally from the other plants and um, so we are going to have an empty opening like this okay the next task we are going to do is to connect our beams and to be able to do that we'll use the fillet command click on the fillet command click on the line that i want to connect with this press enter use your space bar to be able to reactivate the command so anytime you click you use the space bar to reactivate the command So after doing that we need to also put the beam at this balcony in front of the building so i'm going to offset click on the offset command type in 0 0.15 and um, offset the beam for the balcony in front use your trim command so you navigate to extend and click on the drop down menu use trim and trim everything that is within the beam move and trim all these dots Next thing we are going to do is that we are going to draw our staircase area. Click on the line tool and mark where the staircase starts. Then delete all the staircase. Activate the polling line command. Click on where. On activate the polar mode if it's on. Then form this shape. So that's how a staircase is denoted. Delete the marking line and fill in the staircase area with a hatch. We we'll use a solid hatch and our staircase area is being formed. We need a beam in front of the staircase area, so we are going to extend. So move to the extend command, extend the beam to trim out the unnecessary parts. The next thing we are supposed to do is to place pillars on this foundation plan. To be able to do that, we click on the rectangle command, and I'm just going to start the rectangle. Type in 0 0.15, then click on the tab key on your keyboard and type in 0 0.3 so our pillars are 15 by 30 centimeters click on the hash command click on the solid hash and fill in the pillar select the column and type in group enter then we are just going to place the column so click on the column click on copy command select a point where you're going to place so we're going to place our first pillar here so on on our snap cursor here and move to this end we're going to place our first pillar here the second pillar we're going to place it here third pillar we're going to place it here we're going to repeat throughout the building so you can just watch through We have to check if these columns match with the first story so select the column click on select similar click on the copy command and choose this base point go to the first story to check if it matches this is the first story click on this the same base point and check if the columns match so as we can see the columns perfectly match without any of them coming out in the room so the columns are well placed navigate back to the foundation plan and um, the next thing we'll do is to form the axis lines of the building and to be able to do that i'm going to click on the rectangle tool and i'm going to form a rectangle from the base here and i'll offset 1.4 meters the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a straight vertical line 
another horizontal line the first thing i'll do is i'll select the line and move it to the beginning of the pillar and the same with the horizontal line moving to the beginning of a pillar i'm going to form the axis lines that are vertical so i click on move type in 0 0.075 and we'll have the first axis line passing through this beam so i'm going to select on the axis line and uh, copy the axis line to the other beam so i click on any part of this beam i like this part and i'll just move around and form and um, i'm done so i'm going to do the same thing for the horizontal line i'm just going to select it and um, move it by 0 0.075 and i'm going to place it wherever there is a pillar so i'll start here the next one is here and finally here i'm going to activate my trim command and uh, trim the extra lines We are going to convert these lines to axis lines. So select on all the lines. Right click. Move down to properties. The line color, we want it to be white. The line type, we want it to be axis. So I'm going to look for axis line. We'll click on one of the lines. And come to line type here. Type in 0 0.005 enter is going to convert it to an axis line move to match properties and uh, click on match this one then select all the other lines it's going to convert all to axis lines so just click and hover over it and we now have axis lines we're going to denote the axis click on the circuit command and um, type in 0.35 and uh, click on the circle and uh, place it where the axis line starts you are going to type on annotate and um, click on a line text or form a small box and type in a you are going to move that a into the box and scale it to then scale it to 1.5 we'll have something like this then select on it and um, repeat the command to the other axis lines this will be a you're going to type this one b type this one c g Copy the circle, put on the other horizontal part, and we are going to number it as one, two, three, four. So we are going to number on the horizontal from one, one, two. Trim these parts. So go to the trim command and um, trim. Let's adjust the numbers to be at the center. We are going to place a few footings in this building and all the footings, we want them to be 120. So to do that, click on the rectangle command. Type in 1.2. Click the tab key and type in another 1.2. Click on the line command. And form something like this. Click on the rectangle command. Touch the copy. Click on the center of the rectangle and um, place the footings. So we have placed the footings. Select on one of the footings. Go to select similar. And um, move to quick properties. And we change the line type to thing we'll do is to denotate our beams click on click on the multi-line text form a rectangle 
and type in G B E fifteen CM by twenty five CM. Then drag to extend and uh, all the ground beams will be 15 by 25 so we will just copy and place them where they are supposed to be so click here place the ground beam outside here just denote the ground beam so on so we'll just make put the ground beam to be 15 by 25 So we have annotated our beams. Next, we want to do is to do our interior dimensions in the formwork plan. So click on annotate, move to linear dimension, and uh, we'll just dimension the interiors. Click on continuous dimension. So delay the beam thickness here 15. Delay the other beam thickness this way. We'll just do same wheresoever we have to. To do our exterior dimension, we're going to click on the offset command, type in 0 0.5, enter and offset the offset in from inside. Delete the external line and uh, click on the linear dimension. And we are just going to dimension as we are going. So dimension just the axis lines. Just click on the axis lines as you're going and then click on the external line that we're using and delete copy equally the axis line and um, do the same foundation plan or uh, well denoted we now have a foundation plan well denoted in the next class, we are going to do the homework plan.